hello to everybody again. We're still here in the summit in BTS house. And this cute girl next to me is Evany, the manager of Team Secret. Hi, Evany. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine, and you? <laughs> All right, tired. How are you enjoying this event so far? Um, it's good. I was here last season, so it's, it's nice to see how they stepped it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, then let's move to your, to your role. Uh, how did you get into managing and um, how did you come to this decision? Have you played Dota? Are you following that game? Um, I do play Dota. I don't play it very much, but um, I was with Fnatic for a while. Not actually working for Fnatic, but um, I was very close with the players since their Han days. Um, and for some of their events, I managed, uh, like a stand-in manager, um, when they couldn't get somebody out there. Um, and then for Team Secret, um, after TI4, I was approached by Kuro and Yuan um, to see if I would be their manager. Because mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, and I think this is not a secret to your girlfriend of Tal of. Uh, Simba right now. Uh, so yeah, d did it affect as well that you were managing the team? Like Kelly and, and Loda? Being Fly's girlfriend or Simba's girlfriend mm -hmm. um, doesn't really affect the team because um, they just see me as their manager, somebody to take care of them. Mm -hmm. um, it's never been an issue um, in Fnatic even. Um, I was just there to take care of them, make sure they got what they needed. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at Alliance and Kelly and Loda, like Kelly's relationship doesn't yeah, it, yeah. It doesn't affect. Yeah. So um, I'd say it's it about the same. It affects, but in a positive way. I think. Right. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, okay. And I wanted to ask Tal about that, but I will ask you: <laughs> What's the story behind his nickname? I couldn't. I couldn't understand like Big Daddy because he said that he feels like Big Daddy. I couldn't even imagine how does it feel to feel like Simba? Is a cartoon <laughs> hero or? <laughs> um, well, the thing is, Fly and also Bot. Those names weren't his. Like he didn't choose those names. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I guess once we switched over to Team Secret, it was like a fresh start, he mm -hmm. wanted a new name, um, and he just, he just up and thought of Simba, so. Uh -huh, the secret Simba, the magic of capital letters. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, go okay. with it, why not? That's, uh, that, that was my version, so, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so in Dota community, there's always higher interest to girls, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, are you okay with that? Aren't you avoiding an excessive, some extra attention to yourself? Um, I don't like being in the limelight, mm -hmm. as you know when you came to me with, for this interview request, but um, yeah, I mean, Dota is a game for everyone, mm -hmm. so um, girls, guys, it's, I think it's good for both, and um, for being the, in the limelight, it's something I tend to avoid, <laughs> yeah. Well, like, what else I want to ask you? Let's talk about your normal life, what are you doing for life, your job, your hobbies, your interests? Um, I actually teach English as a second language. Mm -hmm. um, I was in grad school until last year um, mm -hmm. and now I teach middle school um, English as a second language. So, so yeah. you're, you're combining being a manager and being a I juggle teacher. it, yeah. It's difficult. Mm -hmm. um, I might quit my teaching job soon mm -hmm. um, and go full-time managing uh -huh. um, kids. <laughs> Do you love kids? Um, I like kids. Um, it's frustrating when you have to teach them. Uh -huh. so. so you're a school teacher and um, does your students play Dota? Have you got recognized by them as a, as a manager of team? Uh, thankfully, no. Most of my students play League of Legends, um, but they do know what Dota is. So in my classroom, I have the, the Dota plushies hanging uh -huh. around. So they all know that, you know, Miss Chang plays plays Dota. <laughs> Great. Okay, then let's go back to uh, to managing uh, to managing um, Fnatic, and after that, managing Team Secret. Uh, how close have you been to Fnatic mates, and do you still like miss them, or I don't know, just supporting some warm, friendly relationship to them? Yes, I love the guys. We were really close. We were all friends, mm -hmm. um, and when we split up, it was like splitting up a family. Um, it was very difficult for all of us. Um, to part ways. Um, I still talk to them, mm -hmm. um, mostly Trixie and Hani. Um, if we, and you, we pulled out of, uh, we pulled out of D2L and, and the first team that I voiced to be our replacement was um, 4ASE, um, just to make sure that they had opportunities. 
um, it was, it's nice. We still have a good relationship and we still talk a lot. That's really great to hear. Do you have any, do you have different functions here and there? I mean, in Fnatic and in Team Secret and what actually your functions are? I mean, you're taking care of a team, like, I don't know, uh, making some arrangements about the tournament, about the schedule and how close do you communicate with another managers? Well, before I wasn't official manager um, with the Fnatic guys, so basically when they when I was with them, I would be taking care of their um, their needs like food and transportation, things like that. Um, now it's more official. I do tournament scheduling, talking with sponsors, um, anything, everything, um, except anything game related. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh Talking about Cyborg Matt on Starladder, uh, well, it seems like he uh, was executive manager of Team Secret. What can you comment about that? Uh, Cyborg Matt, he has been a great help. Um, he helps out a lot with our team, mostly because um, he's had a long-standing relationship with um, Puppy and Kuro. Um, so he just he helps us out out of the goodness of his heart, and we really appreciate it. Um, for Starladder, I couldn't make it out because of work, and um, Matt was kind enough to step in, so he was act acting in my place at Star Ladder. Mm -hmm. So that was really nice of him. And what's the role of the coach in your team? As we could notice at Star Ladder, he, yeah, he really has, uh, as it seemed to me, he really had a big influence on the team and yeah. the guys were listening to him. So what's your point? Um, Theban, he, he's been a big help as well. Um, we for, first took him on a little before ESL New York. Mm -hmm and um, we wanted to see how he would mesh with the team. Um, Kuro first brought him up um, as a possible coach because um, he felt that Thieben had a lot of insight into the game. So normally he does a lot of the watching replays, analyzing drafts, and analyzing gameplay, things that I could not do at all. So, um, it's more gaming stuff. Exactly. So it's nice that we have a balance. Mm -hmm. um, he does the game-related things, and I do all the administrative stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, and what a, what the situation with the sponsor? Have you got any interesting offers so far? Um, we've had lots of offers, um, but I think the worst thing we could do is to rush into one, um, and and then be stuck with a contract that we are not satisfied with. So that's why it's been taking a little longer than anybody of any one of us has hoped. Um, and that's why we haven't actually come out with one yet. Um, but we're still working on it. We still have several offers, um, and soon so we'll get considering. one. Yes, we're considering. So. Okay. And what about your schedule? Uh, like, what future events you're planning to attend? Your team, you personally? Well, um, right after we get back from the summit, um, we have several. We have Dota Pit playoffs. We have. Um, XMG playoffs, mm -hmm. we have uh, ES Portal that was just announced, um, so that's December for us. We're pretty busy when, once we get back. Yes. It seems to be a tough schedule. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I really do hope to see you in Starlighter next time. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Me too. It would be really great to show you around. Yes. And yeah, it was, thank you for, it was really nice <laughs> talk to you and, um, well, do you have any shout outs to your fans, friends? Um, shout out to my team. They're the best. They make me happy and they, even though they tease me a lot. Um, and shout out to Tal, of course. <laughs> Special shout out. Great. Well, thanks a lot and good luck. Thank you. Thank you.